Yes, people, what is going on? Welcome back to McLaren Fan TV on a Tuesday at seven o'clock. We are live UK time. We're not late this week. Mahad, are we? We're not late. We're on time. I feel like some of the people that are watching, they're late. They're late. The people are late today. For the first time, we're on time. <laughs> and you lot are late. But yeah, well, late. welcome back. Welcome back, Formula One. We're here. Yes, we are, down. we are back. And if you guys are new to the channel, very simple. McLaren Fan TV is a channel for all McLaren fans out there across the world. We want you to join us and tell a McLaren fans to tell another one to come and join us. We're going to be talking all things McLaren. It's going to be biased, okay? It's a biased McLaren show. And you're going to be with us all season, man. We've been here for what is our second year, our second season. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep going. Make sure you follow us at McLaren Fan TV on social media. We are all over the gaff there as well. Um, We've had the first race, Mahad, and, you know, P6, P8 finish for the boys. Um, what was your thoughts uh, sort of over the course of the weekend, Friday night, Saturday night? Uh, yeah, how, how are your fe how, how's your feeling at this moment in time before we get into the race itself? What's your thoughts as a McLaren fan today? Um, better than expected. I came mm -hmm. into that expecting the worst, just knowing how Bahrain is and being aware of that certain situations in terms of the characteristics of the car and low speed hasn't been resolved. So yeah. in my mind, I was quite prudent. I just thought, let me, let's just get some double points and get the hell out of here. In my mind, these are good double points. Would I have liked maybe a P4, P5? Yes, yeah. but I'll take it at this stage. And I see it like this. We're not as bad as they are. Sometimes I don't believe McLaren. They made out like it was like, and we're finished. We ain't yeah. finished. We're okay. And if if this is our, let's say how Red Bull was in Singapore last year, yeah. And the track just just wasn't for them that weekend. If that's our version, if Bahrain's that version for us, that's a good weekend for us. I see it like that. How about you, though? Yeah, I think I think I echo you there, man. I think you know it's so easy to take this weekend or Friday, Saturday, and sort of come to the conclusion of this is what McLaren is going to be for the rest of the year. Um, what I am noticing from the team is that they are very much in a different light to what they were last year. They're very positive this season. I don't know if you've been watching the interviews and listening to the words of, of, of Oscar, of Lando, and of Andrea, even Zach yeah. as well. But they seem to be like, everything is on course as expected. We expected this kind of weekend. We knew what we needed to work on before the race started. We knew what we needed to work on before the season, season started. Um, and nothing new has propped up, which is good. Um, and I think, you know, is this going to be our worst track of the year? You know, was it the worst last year? I guess Miami was the worst. But what was... No, you know, this was the worst. This was this was the worst. worst. I was there in person, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you it was. was the worst. <laughs> yes, she was. Yes, she was. Um, yeah, so so in, in, in that sense, you know, everybody's sort of like, yep, we are here. This is what we expected. But guys, we've got a double points finish, for goodness sake. I know it's easy to take McLaren's you sort of, you know, November, December McLaren into now and ask the questions about this season. But I'm also looking at last year's barring Grand Prix to now. And if we're starting at this level, you know, we ended the season fourth when we were probably at the back at the start of last season. But if we're starting fourth, then, you know what I'm saying, questions questions uh, have to be asked. So in, in a good way, by the way, as in a sense that, you know, there is there is so much to look forward to, I think. But it, it, it it's easy to, because like, I was watching, you know, watching the coverage back and listening to the media people, listening to the guys that do the coverage and broadcasting and whatever else. And you would not think McLaren, you, you, everybody seems a bit lost about McLaren. And I know you They're mentioned quite it. Huh? Say again? They're quite negative as well. Yeah. But, you know, you said this time, you know, that we're not respected yet. So obviously people are not talking about us in high regard or anything of that nature. But it seems like people kind of, they expected so much more at the start of this season. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're, we're still waiting to see. I mean, this car wasn't even built in the new wind tunnel. Do you know what I mean? So you, you got to context is king in in this scenario in this situation. And look at everybody else, by the way. You know, 
I'd rather be us than a lot of teams this season. Because a lot of teams are, are surprised. Some teams are, are, are actually in shock as to what's happening with their team currently at this moment in time. So at least with us, it's like we knew the blueprint before we started. And guess what? The blueprint followed. So I say it like this. I say it mm. like this. Uh, you could be Alpine. Alpine are horrific. Yeah. So let's let's just ignore those. <sighs> Aston Martin. Like, I think people expected them to be in that group. The your, your Mercedes, your Ferraris, that group from behind. If you understand mm. what I'm saying. Yep. Yeah. They finished three million miles behind Oscar. <laughs> they were in like a no, they were in their own race. They were in the middle thing. Aston Martin, and nobody's criticized Aston Martin once. That's what I'm talking about. And so, and, but uh, McLaren is criticized just because of where the position was of where uh, McLaren was at the end of the season. Yeah. But Aston Martin was in that same position at the beginning of the season. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's 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 strange how they're being covered. It's a bit weird. And I'm, I, I don't really feel comfortable by it, but the way they're covering Aston Martin. They're just basically ignoring that they finished what? Tw- I don't know. How many just, I was just, I've just checked the times. Just under 20 seconds. Alonso finished just under 20 seconds behind Piastri. Yeah, and Stroll nearly got lapped by Verstappen. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's, let's just keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> Mercedes, they, they look good. Um, don't know why they did the whole thing with the cooling, and they had a lot of issues. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm keeping my eye on this Mercedes engine. I'm keeping my eye on it. So uh, Lando yeah. had to change his battery. Uh, Lando has to change his battery components. One race in, when you when you only have two for the whole year, yeah, twenty four races, and then Hamilton had electrical issues. Uh, George had an overheating because I think that it was the setup with the with the coolers, coolers, uh, you know, the little vents that they got. Yes, yes. Uh, they they kind of decided to close it. Don't know why. And Alex Albon had issues with his engine engine as well. Is this Mercedes engine engine going to be an issue? Uh, so look, that's something to keep an eye out on, mm. eye out for guys. And Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not much, not much to say there. So, if Ferrari, I don't know why they what happened. What happened with Charles Leclerc? Don't know with the break. Don't know what happened there. Signs look fast, but it's signs. So uh, they yeah. clearly look like the second best team. George looked good as well, and then Red Bull just Red Bull. And I'm taking into account what Andre Stella said after the race that we've got to make some two steps right now. So we've got to clear the clear Mercedes and Ferrari, mm-hmm. be within that, and then. A clear Mercedes, Ferrari, and Perez. He said Perez. Yes. He said that's the same group. He said Perez. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, people. Why have they? Why have they said? Why is? Why is Andrea Stella said Ferrari, what? Mercedes, and Perez? That's the same group. He singled yeah? them out. <laughs> he then, singled them out. <laughs> so, uh, so that's the first step, and then Verstappen's the second step. So, yeah. Uh, on a track that's not due to this car, a horrific track for us. Mm. Uh, still being hampered by the characteristics of the car because the car's been made in the old wind tunnel and I think there's a link between that that they can't sort this out in that wind tunnel and it's been something that's been a characteristic of the car even in the old regs yeah so in the old regs they couldn't sort it out in the new regs they can't sort it out so it's something that clearly to me is something it's a correlation issue um, hopefully with upgrades they can sort that out and I've seen now that Andrea Stella said it's uh an aerodynamic problem now. It's not a mechanical one anymore. So it was a mechanical issue, the slow speeds, but now they believe it's just solely aerodynamic now. So maybe they're part way there. Let's see how it goes. And I think we ran quite well. Quali, we could have got the third front two roads. We need to operationally, we need to sort out. Yeah. Both both, yeah. both operationally and uh putting it together, putting the lap together, because there was a missed opportunity to just Maybe Stapp had a little higher up qualification position. What do you think about Quali? Let's go through Quali. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. I think I think with Quali, um, there was definitely potential, um, especially because of was it practice two that we looked good? I'm trying to remember what what it was, which practice it was, where it got me thinking. Oh, hang on a minute. You know, we could probably do something here. I don't think Alonso's pace was true, and I didn't think Russell's pace was true either. So the how high they finished in Quali was annoying. Um, but everybody kind of had a dead Q3, 
you know, irrespective of Max Verstappen, like everybody kind of didn't have the best that they could really go with, maybe besides Alonso. But like, you know, nobody could really have the, the greatest Q3 because the Q2s were pretty decent. And I think yeah. for us, yeah, there was definitely, you know, there, there, there was there, there's no room for error this season in terms of our progression. But there are moments that I look at and I think, okay, look, there's some progression here that we can actually capitalize on. I, 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 look, they both got into Q3, and I was like, you know, what? I'm comfortable with the fact that they both got into Q3, and let's let's go. You know, P7, P8, I think it was in Q3. I mean, you know, ahead of Mercedes, ahead of Hamilton. I think ahead of was it was it um Hulkenberg was it he was he the other one? I mean the yeah. Hulk, you know, the Hulk making Q3. I was like, ah man, Hass, who are you? Like, who are you people? What's going on I'm over not, there? I, I'm not gonna try to analyze Hass because uh no, this is scary. Look at scary from Gunter, Mr. Steiner. Nah, do you know what? I wouldn't I wouldn't jump. No, nah, it's looking scary for him, man. No, I wouldn't jump yet. I wouldn't jump yet. Oh, because like... they've sorted they sorted stuff out already. But I feel like Hass and and Stake, them man there, like we, I feel like we've we, we've been here before, round one, round two, whatever. We're here. We've yeah, been yeah. here before. We're ignoring it. But do you feel like there's a missed opportunity in quality in terms of I I see the ideal lap, obviously Lando on the first sector. Yeah, two turns down, purple it- middle sector. Like like there was an opportunity there to be on the front two rows there. If you just if you just did the same, was it uh, first sector that he did in the first run in Q Q three. Yeah, he would have been in the front two rows. So that kind of kind of shows the ceiling of the car on a track that is not favourable on one lap pace. They, uh, they, they Oscar seemed to really struggle in quality in, in comparison to Lando, anyway. Yeah, they uh, seem. They kind of mentioned sh- that as well. There was a turn that they mentioned. They said at the turn one, and I think it was it turn either ten or the last turn. They spoke about that in the race anyway. That it was a horrible car to drive in that time, it, and, and you know. Lando, I think, even equated it to um, driving with one wheel at some stages of the race, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yes, I saw those quality times where, you know, we have a yellow sector, we have a purple sector, and it's almost like, wait, why are we not... Where's the medium here? Like, wh- where where are we with this? And I think it's just purely on the basis that, yes, I think we could have got higher than seven and eight. I think so. I think that's fair. Yeah. What, what row is that? Four? So, you know, you'd expect to be at least row three, you know, second row, I think, would have been an ambitious. Bearing in mind, it's Ferrari. Even, even if we got second row and went backwards, which I would assume that would happen in the race. But yeah, I just feel like just even where they put them out, they, we came out first on the second run of Q3 and kind of got put into a little bit of traffic. Got, just got like got stuff caught. like that. Just it doesn't got really. You know, we decided to go for used tires in the first run of Q3 rather than just letting the bank it on some uh, brand new ones because we're not really yeah. in that situation. Also, the set of the car was more like the wing that we put on was more set up for the middle sector to have more downforce. It was, there was no, we didn't have much straight line speed. Yeah. I, think, I think Norris in the race as well, the speed trap was one of the slowest. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, just like, I, I think... I, I, and Oscar, that just the whole session just looked a bit out of it. And that's usually his strength quality. I don't really worry about Oscar mm. when it comes to quality, but uh, he just said he just felt like the car wasn't where he needed it to be to kind of push on. And for Lando, it did. He said it felt alive, but just couldn't put that lap together. Whether it's where they put him out or him just him having them gremlins from last season over to this season, he's to sort that out. Yeah, I think there is definitely room that we could have improved on for sure. And I think, you know, I wouldn't be, shout out to Henry, I wouldn't be too concerned about uh Oscar's quality performances. I think I think they will improve over the time. Uh, over uh, the it's only this. It's only this. I won't criticize him anywhere else. I think mm. it's just this. I was quite surprised because usually that's where he, where he excels. And at the end of the day, Lando kind of messed up his lap, and yes. he still was within a couple of tenths of him. So yeah, uh, it, it's it's not that bad. I just feel like both drivers, quite similar to Qatar, didn't show the limit of the car. In quality. Mm. Yeah, so that's true. We'll see, we'll see what happens there, but. Like I said, four pro can't really complain. Uh, got out of it, but just we need to put those quality days together properly. Yeah, <laughs> because there, there's going to be races where it matters. If we oh, yeah. if we have a stinker and quality in in Monaco, we're cooked. What's the point? We're done. We're done. Yeah, that's true. No, that's very true. Um, shout out to Adam Heddle. He says uh, the fact that Lando only did one run in Q1 and Q2 is promising that we have the pace just to do one run. 
Yeah, they're quite confident. That is true. That is true. That is very much true. Shout out to everybody that's come out in Q2. Yeah. Second round, you're just like, I'm good. Salute to everybody that's watching us right now. Bigger to all 26 of you. You look thick and fast, Shout people. Uh, make sure you smash the like on this video as well. Should we go to the Should we go to the beginning and say hello to him? Yeah, I'm going. I'm, I'm right at the top. Yeah, um, sorry, guys. <laughs> do do comment um, in the comment section. We will be reading those posts out. Uh, big up to Dre. I said, listen, on time. Wow. Hello, guys. Listen, it's a new season. It's a new dawn. Okay, people. It's, it's a new me. I have, I have an alarm now. <laughs> it's a new me. Oh, you gotta love it. Listen, I had the day off today. I had no excuse, so I'm I'm all good. I'm all good, ready to rock and roll. Big up yourself, Dre. Z says hello, hello. Hope you're good. I wasn't expecting it to start at, until at least five past. That's what you get. Yeah, that's what you get. TSJ. Uh, shout out to Kunle. Says hey, gang. What's going Kunle, on? Kunle, my brother. Good. Yes, man. We need to get you back on, of course. Che, it's been a hot minute. Happy birthday, by the way. I think it was your birthday recently. Shout out to you. Uh, Shout say to what's you, up. Um, who wants to groove? We were 11 and 18th last year. <laughs> Look what we did. Yeah, absolutely. No, absolutely. It was a horror show last year, guys. Uh, you know, it's easy to, to keep repeating this, but, you know, this is this was what it was. Uh, Dre says, I was quite happy with that weekend, especially because both guys were quite happy as well. Very important, yeah. that comment there. That's important. Very, very important. Um, they suffered in the car. Uh, the post-race show interviews was telling, but still a good result. Yeah. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. Uh, Steph Lowe, big up yourself. We here did a pretty well at a circuit that never suited us. A thousand percent. One of our worst circuits. Must be. Easily. Comfortably. A hundred percent. And it's a double points finish. This and is this way, Miami. People don't know about me. McLaren fans, you know about Miami. <laughs> I might not even watch Miami this week, this year. I'm not, not, not going to watch it. You're not going to watch it this well, season? I'm not interested. I'm not interested in that track. I'm not oh, interested in how man. we perform in that track. Then man see South Beach and start moving mad. Mm, mm. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it never suited us. Stella was very, very good in what he was saying in terms of, you know what, he felt like the performance is there. He said the, the, the reliability was there um, and there's things to work on. And, and you know, just get, even uh, McLaren keep giving us that content, please, because I saw that on the socials. And I, you know what? After I watched it, I said, you know what? I'm calm. The first thing, uh, when it went from Stella to Lando, Lando was like, yep, that's correct. <laughs> you know, you, you bang on. And Lando's that. very hard at hiding his emotions. Mm. So I know the car shit. Because <laughs> his body language or the way he's saying stuff, I just know already. But he, quite, he seemed quite happy. So that's a, that's a start. That's a good thing for the beginning of the season. And some of the post-race interviews that they did together, where they Oscar just seemed to keep following Lando wherever wherever Lando was, Oscar was there. Oh yeah, they were doing joint interviews. But <laughs> there was one that was interesting because they kept on talking about the last corner. Yeah, the last corner is the worst. Yes, it's, yes. That, okay. That was, was basically one. said, if we had a car, I, I would have been able to do it better in a road car. That's what Lando. Imagine. Said. He literally, so, yeah. The, when he asked him, "How was your last corner?" Oscar couldn't even couldn't even reply without laughing, like even smiling or whatever, because it was like, yeah, it was horrific. Um, but also just the fact they, they looked forward to other circuits. They were looking at, yo, what, what could Jenna look like? What could Suzuka look like? They were, they were sort of thinking ahead, Australia. They were looking ahead like, you know, we ain't even we ain't even really tested it with this new baby yet. They kept on talking about Jeddah, Australia, Suzuka. Yeah. And that's where I'm gonna really judge this car. By yeah. by the time I get by the time we finish the Suzuka weekend and we're here, then we can really give a good assessment of where we can go this year. Absolutely, and, and then what impact that we need the upgrades to have on the car? Yeah, no, a hundred percent. So I can't wait to see the tracks that suit us. Uh, shout out to all of you lot watching right now. Make sure you smash a like on this. Thirty of you are now in the chat. Big up yourselves, okay? Watching this video, uh, Chase says it's crazy how Aston Martin seem to be respected more than McLaren. Uh, last week, I, I think in the media, yes. Yeah, my yeah, said just, in general, I think in general, in media, I think people will shut Aston Martin more. I'm not sure why. I think it's because it, because McLaren is still seen in the, in the prism of this is a team that was a front runner that actually went to the doldrums of hell mm. and can't seem to get back to being a front runner like Red Bull. If that makes sense, yeah, with your Mercedes and your Ferraris that win races, yeah, here and there. Aston Martin has never been there. They don't know what it looks like. So anything, everything's a bottle, everything's a positive. If Aston Martin are anywhere near front runners. Oh yeah, they, they, they've done a good job. And let me more go, of a pass. Let me go one step further. Aston Martin, if you recall, were who racing point, Force India, people of that ilk, right? And 
they were a fan favorite anyway when they weren't necessarily doing too great, but they did so much with the resources they have. Then they then they put on the Aston Martin drip, and now they look serious. They look like a a, a well established team. It's like you know the Hugo Boss and everything else has come into play, and they, they they're packaged so well. The way that it's packaged branding wise, Aston Martin yeah. phenomenal. You can't elite. their TikTok account elite. They know what they're doing. Yeah, you can't argue against it. Um, and when I look at other teams, like we've been on serious in the past, <laughs> you know the ones that like, we, we have to just hold that. And There's we, been we, ammunition we, there, isn't it? Yeah, we need to. We need to. People lost. Up. People lost in their mind when they look at McLaren, especially you, 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 you. It's what have you done for me lately? People are yeah. going to look at the the Honda situation. They're going to look Correct. at the team just struggling here and there. They're going to see the regression, the so called regression, which I didn't believe it was a regression. I just think it was an overachievement of twenty twenty. Over to 2021 and then mm. over to 2022. 2022 is definitely a regression, but clearly, like I said, and I say this every week, till we start winning races and slapping it on pole, you're not going to be respected. No, that's absolutely true. Aston Martin is not held to that same. Aston Martin is still not held to, held to that standard because they don't do it anyway. It's certainly not held to that standard. And and you know what, like Ferrari, for example, when you got Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari are the McLaren in that conversation. Nobody holds. Ferrari with that respect, the same way they hold Mercedes and Red Bull with that respect. Because Ferrari... They, all, what have you done for me lately? What have you done for me lately? Exactly. Exactly. Um, TSJ Awesome says, remember when guys uh, thought Alpine were in a better position to get to the top than us? I'm you know hearing what? Alpine are copying McLaren strategies with a free, uh, free technical heads. Bro. Strategy, like, I'm like, how, you're not how can, us. How can Bruno Faman even like speak to anybody and like how does he say this stuff with a straight face like this team is just the thing is yeah to, to tsj's comment like it it wasn't fu like it wasn't actually that ludicrous to say it because but Renault have been here like from from as far as i can remember even going when to when danny ricardo was there as far as i can remember it was like ready to go to the next level it was ready to break in the top three it was ready to go ahead and attack red bull and mercedes and since then, look at them. Bro, there was no coverage of them all race last day on, on Saturday. There was no coverage. Apparently, they wore pink. I can yes. tell you. Mate, they could have been in high vis. I, I, I would have seen them. All I know is, uh, Oscar, you're very lucky, man. Ah, they dodged a bullet. They, they, they dodged, he dodged. A, and the thing is, maybe, you know what That's Oscar's awesome. good at? Oscar's good at this, though. Oscar's very good at watching moves. And paying attention to that move being made. We spoke about this with his Max Verstappen stuff last year, right? Yeah. About how he watches how he drives and follows certain lines and He's da -da -da. Very observant. Look what he did when he saw Alonso jump the ship and said, I am getting out of here. Bro, Oscar wasted no almost no time. In fact, he was gobsmacked to be even addressed as a name as part of Alpine. And he was like, I don't know what you lot have been smoking over there. I'm here to tell you right now, I ain't driving for no Alpine next year. That's for damn sure. If if, uh, if, a lot, if I am going to drive for Alpine, it's because I was going to be a teammate with Alonso. I reckon him and Weber thought, okay, we know how this team operates. We, yeah. We're inside out. We, we see our management and move. We need to get the hell out of it. I think that was more of that case. And that was with Otmar in the place. You know, the most like Otmar for me is a, is a more serious guy than what we give him credit for. So God knows what, what they are now. Yeah. This Rossi guy has no, not a clue. He hasn't got a clue what he's doing. And Rossi, Rossi, got, actually, Rossi got right? sacked already. And Rossi's um, been... <laughs> look, look, look. Who's the, who's the new Don that came to that launch? I forgot his name now. I have no idea. I, I, I do not care about Alpine. But yeah. he's, <laughs> you want to... he seemed like a guy... <laughs> I, I, I can't express how much I hate Alpine. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I hate them so much. So I, I, any, anything that's bad that's happening to them, they need to just hold that. Hold it. Yeah, hold it. Amon says today I won't be able to watch live due to uni. So I just want to say that I think we're in a good position to push forward. In Jeddah, the track will suit and we'll cook. Good stream for you guys. Big up Amon. Hope, hope, hope. Amon, uh, watch it back. Give us a like. All of that. My brother. All that good stuff and all the best with the with the what lecture. I guess you're doing a lecture now. Wherever you are. Big up to the Oracle. What's going on, man? Hope you're good. Hope you I need to well. check back on Oracle's prediction of the race. Mm, mm. I want to see if he's really we need that segment, don't we? <laughs> no pressure, but we need that Jay, segment. Oh, shit. Hold tight, Jay. <laughs> Matt always <laughs> trying to cook you. Always blaming the engine. What's going on? When did I blame the engine? 
I blamed him before. I can't lie. Last year when we were slow. Well, as in, as in just now, as in about, I'm paying attention to that Mercedes. No, no, I'm, paying, I'm just paying attention to it. It didn't even, <laughs> even happen to us. Yeah. I'm just seeing what's going on over there. How can I not question it? Yo, I see the William Steering will saying it's too hard. Hey, J- Jay Starship, you still a Mercedes fan? Answer the, answer the question in the chat. <laughs> Let us know He's in the comments. Leave it, still a Mercedes fan. Uh, big up Adam. He says, hello, people. Uh, people thought we'd be on par with VCOB. <laughs> But thought VCOP was disappointed. I'm happy with the weekend. We moved to Jeddah where it should be better, and hopefully, top speed is better. Yeah, that's the thing I need to see. Mm. Uh, we'll probably speak about it later about Jeddah, but yeah, I need to see this top speed, man. I need to see if we've got a correct uh, rear wing because we we're out here last year in Monza and Spa looking like absolute chumps, <laughs> getting eaten alive. I bro. need to know, yeah, like. If we can, if we can hit top speeds like proper, proper, like like Red Bull mm. Ferrari top speeds, we have we got a rear wing for this. Yeah, because I'm not worried about downfall, uh, high downfall tracks, and this track is kind of like there's a little bit of compromise. So you don't need to take too much room out, but I want to see well, if we can hit those. Two. I don't want us to be like absolute donkeys on the straight. Um, I wish we were last year. Thing is, I mean, like you said, look, Stella's talking about aero now. Yeah, we're not talking about. Um, engine, or we're not talking about performance in terms of the car or whatever else. We're now we're now talking about the aero. So this is the the, the rear wing is part of this conversation. Surely, you know I'm sure but we didn't have one last year. We didn't have a low downforce rear wing. We just didn't have one at all. So at least build that. Yeah, let's get because <laughs> we were probably the only team in the F1 last year that didn't even have one. <laughs> oh but man, yeah, do you know Adam's point here? Shout out mm. to you, Adam. They mm. tried to chat our name with VCOB. Yep. Even though VCOB gave Yuki Sonoda the worst strategy. <laughs> the worst strategy yeah. It was so bad for him. They, they, did it in, they did it in AD and they did it again. They're just like, why? The last race you just did, you gave him the worst strategy. You did it again. But you could have got a points finish. But yeah, VCOB, don't put us in the same conversation as VCOB. Please. What the hell's going didn't on? They, didn't they have a rookie this year as a team principal? Haven't they got a rookie? Is it Mekis? Uh, Mekis, yeah, the one that's yeah. Ferrari guy. From Ferrari. Well, there you go. It's not look like it's changed because they, they're not even handling that Yuki Daniel relationship well. Hmm. They won. I'll tell you what, that post that post race stuff was savage. It was absolutely savage from Yuki. I was I was like, okay, look, we like Yuki, yeah. We got the Yuki coin, but man, th- that's gonna blow up soon, isn't it? The, 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 two, it's, 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 one thing that people are not acknowledging. And obviously, all of the whole situation, obviously, he lost his head and stuff like that, yeah. This brother was two temps quicker than Daniel Ricciardo throughout the race. He and he what? slapped him in quality. And he slapped him in quality. Mm. So, mm. yeah. You want Daniel in that, in that Red Bull? Come on, guys. Let's be serious. <laughs> so let's be serious. Well, it's, it's all angles, bro. Right it, now, it, in my eyes, Sergio Perez has got a better chance. Sergio Perez? Oh, well, yeah. Oh yeah, and keeping yeah. that seat than Daniel. Daniel wants to step up because that's a plus poor showing. Although Horner wants clearly, I mean, from anything I watched from that Drive to Survive documentary, Horner is literally he's in love with him. See the love hearts. Oh it's, my god, he's his dad. Daniel. Literally, is that he's going to do everything he can to get him back? I reckon. I reckon this whole situation with Horner, we're not going to speak about it on there because mm. it's, that's Red Bull business. Isn't it? Mm. Uh, if our enemies are failing, our enemies are failing. Let's just let's just see it like that. Run but down. One thing about that is obviously Horner is backed by the tire side. We heard about this contract being offered to Albon. Yeah. The Red Bull for 25. I think that's part of the whole deal. I think the tire side is basically saying we want a tire driver, put him back in the, in the Red Bull now. Get that man back in that car. <laughs> Do you know the ones? Um, look, Mercedes uh, couldn't even get their cooling right after testing three days at this track. We did fine. We, yeah, we do our own cooling, innit? Uh, so I don't really the cooling. I'm not worried about the cooling. I'm I'm worried about the electronics part. What's going on? They said Zach said something on the broadcast like, "Oh, we didn't like the numbers, so we changed it as a precautionary." We saw something. I was like, "What do you mean you saw something? You already get two of these." No, people so say I, things for I me. Don't... For me, it's like a guarantee that Lando's taking the penalty this year. It's a guarantee because he's only got one. It might not happen now. I don't think people realize how funny Zach Brown is. He says comments like this. He just he throws them out there like they were cash. And you think they're gonna just let us go by? We're not gonna let, let them words just slip. 
Like, what are you talking yeah, like, about? I, I don't I don't particularly know that this car was poorly made in the old wind tunnel. And then he just said it. I was like, huh? <laughs> but I thought that it was, was like, a bit bad. I thought it was like, oh, a little bit was made in a new one, a little bit in old. But obviously, for me, when they kept on saying a little bit was made in a new one, I was like, I don't really believe that because you would have built that car a long time ago. Mm. You would have been building that in like June. Because we, we, like we, we did it. So we I don't really get it. So we didn't have a wind tunnel then. We had a wind tunnel, what, in the end of summer? So yeah. yeah and then I'm Zach like, just said it halfway through the broadcast because they kept the grand tour on the pit wall. I was like, all right. <laughs> now nah, I know that, that to me, to me, to me, to me, that made me even more happy. I was like, this, this car was built an old one. There you go. Next it, year, it, next, but that means next year, year, literally, next year, there's literally not one iota of excuse. The staff have been there. Oh. The wind tunnel was there. We, we cannot. We need to be like challenging at the end of the day. Yeah. But yeah, um, the calling. Mm. I don't know. I think Mercedes just made a, an aggressive setup mistake, but we'll see. Jeddah's hot, man. Jeddah this time of year, it's not it's not a cold place, so we'll see what happens in the next race. The engine's going to be tested. I wonder how thin that seat is because for, for Lewis's seat to break, I mean, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Right. Shay says, start of last season um, is allowing Aston Martin to get such good coverage. Yeah, start of last season, they did. Uh, considering how it ended for them versus McLaren, I'd expect coverage in you lot's favour. So, like, McLaren is a popular team, especially in the UK, right? It's, yeah. it's probably it's, it's probably the number one, arguably with Mercedes, right? Dep depending yeah. where Lewis goes at this moment in time, right? But what is it? Yeah, in, even in the UK... Like I'm actually surprised that it's not got that much uh, the coverage. Like, but I, I think do you know what, Shay? Because I think last year, the, like the, after the upgrades last year, they were feening for us. They were feening for us, especially challenge Red Bull, Austria, Austria, Silverstone. I remember like they were just feening for us. Then we kind of mellowed out a little bit, and then it was like, all right, see you later, McLaren. Again, what have you done for me lately? Because we didn't really end the season like exceptional. We weren't like you know pulling up trees or nothing. We weren't really saying much. We just carried on, finished fourth, and then got, got the hell out of Dodge type of thing. Mm. Um, so, again, Ted Kravitz and people like that, they were saying at the start of the season, like, McLaren, I don't know what to, you know, I don't know what's going on with McLaren. They didn't really do anything in testing. All right, Ted, Ted's, quite, Ted's quite down on McLaren. Wait there. I don't know what Ted's beef is with McLaren, you know. He's a McLaren fan. Though. I like Ted, innit? But, like, what's your beef? Like, you know. He's a McLaren fan. He, he is he a McLaren fan? Standards. Look, he's, yeah, closet, it <laughs> he's closet. I think he said it because somebody accused him of being a closet Mercedes fan. Then he said, "No, you're gonna call me anything. I'll be a closet McLaren." Mm, interesting. He, he's he's he's, that, he's of that Ron Dennis ilk, isn't he? he he's yeah. loving yeah. He, I, he, I, I the glory him. days. I could just see him. <laughs> I could just see him. Oh, when it was when it was Newey and Dennis, bro. I could just see him. Uh, Ryan P says this race weekend will show if we can fight Mercedes, Ferrari, and Checo. I don't know right. how I don't know how um, to read this weekend because I can't really analyze Jeddah like that. People say yeah. apparently from an article I read this morning, the upgrades that we gave this car right in the winter, yeah, the mm. biggest jump is in medium speed corners. Yeah. Okay. The biggest jump of yeah. the performance. So that means we haven't really seen this car's peak yet. So it's going to have high speed. It's going to have medium speed. Obviously, it's got a slow speed one in the last corner where Max crashed that time in 21. Uh, that's a slow speed corner. Um, let's just see how it goes, man. I, I, I'm, I'm going into it completely optimistic and positive and just see where we're at. It's really good to get a good gauge of what this car is and we're going to find out in the next few races, guys. I think, I think qualifying... See if we can challenge Mercedes. I think, this, this, I think get excited this Friday. I think qualifying, we're going to be electric. I think we're going to be absolutely electric. That, car, that's, that circuit is fast. Is there a slow speed corner? Maybe there's a couple. Well, the last corner, the last corner, where Max crashed in 21. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's the only slow, slow speed corner. I think. Well, there you go. I, I think we're going to be electric this weekend, especially on the Friday. As for the, as for the race, I mean, I have to wait and see just to see what McLaren we are, you know, as you say. I've got, I've got to yeah. see what we are holistically. Because, I mean, look at Oscar's pit stop, for example, on... Uh... <laughs> Two times, not good. <laughs> on Two Saturday. Times. You know, you're just thinking, oh, we've we, we stitched him up. He's now st struggling behind Hamilton. Uh, the same way the, strat the strategy overall in the race, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah, it's not executed well. No, it wasn't, it clearly wasn't. Uh, but again, things we can iron, 
You know what I mean? Like, at least we can iron those things out. At least it's not fundamental. At least you're not. We've got, we've got, got, a, point, we got a double points finish, and the strategy wasn't good. <laughs> In the, the circuit, car, the car doesn't suit the track. Like, yeah. Think about it like that. You have to think about it like that, guys. You have to think about yeah. it. Like that. The strategy wasn't particularly good. Drivers made wasn't really performing in the uh, quali. Um, the car doesn't suit the track, and we still got a double points finish. And you know, like when you say, "Oh, we got double points finish," not nine and ten, not P nine, P ten. We're talking like strong points, bro. Like, yeah, we got a good. I want to say, like, we, what did we get? Like, we got it, we oh, got the same amount of points we got in the first three races last year. No, in the, yeah, the first three races last year. In one race, there you go. Yeah, we got twelve points. This and race. Australia was just pure luck last year as well. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Australia, um, you know, we got we got twelve points last um, last uh, in this race. I think that's the same as uh, you know yeah. Leclerc, for example. You know, um, fair play. And Z, not gonna lie, I don't have patience for strategy errors anymore. I, I, feel you I feel you. No, there. no, we, we, do, we it happens. It happens with other teams as well. But I expect uh, I'd rather them do it now than you know, like, uh, yeah. I'd rather it in the circuit. Fight, I'm gonna yeah. be sick. No, but also in a circuit that. You know, I don't want there to be a race win on the table, and we've stood, we've 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 literally snatched the the jaws of victory from the jaws of death, right? Literally, I want us to have a gr a great strategy at a great race for us. You know, if I'm gonna, if we have to be human and make mistakes, make them here, make them in Bahrain, because I tell you what, now we've seen the back of Bahrain, we ain't seeing it again. I, I, I'd rather them make mistakes now. Look, I, Red Bull went through a cycle where they were happy thinkers. I, I, I remember in yeah. strategy, but yeah. because it was because Mercedes was winning, nobody really knew. But then they recovered from that and they learned from their lessons. You have to go through this to learn your lessons, man. You do. You understand no, you what I'm do. saying? But you do at the end of the day, we I we definitely lost Oscar a position. Oscar should have finished ahead. We cost him. Yeah, yeah. Just from yeah. strategy because you should just pit him early. Learn on the second sequence that you got to pit him early to cover, man. What, uh, Joe Guan Yu, he ate because good strategy. Yes. What do you go up to like P11? If you hit Lando early, if you pit Oscar early, yeah, you, you, you gain position, you gain time. Absolutely. And in let's that go race, you've got to maximize it because the car ain't that good. No, exactly. Uh, let's max let's get through these comments as soon as uh, the oracle says it's a positive race week, uh, re race weekend, all things considered. Yeah, absolutely. Dre says Alonso had a very bad strategy, so I think they weren't as bad as it seemed, and I think it was strategy. a it will, it will fluctuate uh, at different tracks again, but they seem to be a little bit behind. Yeah. Um, the fact that Lando, yeah, we, we spoke about this already. Um, Drea says, I hope what Stella said mean, means they now know how to solve the slower speed corners issue in time. You he's know? saying that it's, it's solely an aerodynamic issue now. So yeah. that makes me think, yeah, obviously, if he's identified as an aerodynamic, aerodynamic issue, yeah, they, they know what it is. So hopefully they can find out. Dre's asking this question. Do you think, guys, we need to worry about Lando's quality issues? Uh, I think he really needs to clean. He needs to he needs clean runs, uh, just for confidence. And he already seemed frustrated. Traffic didn't help to not make mistakes. What do, What does everybody think? Put in the chat. Are you worried about this? Are you worried about Lando's quality? Because I remember a time and day where, like Lando quality, I'll be yeah, I'll mm. sweat. I'll be like, yeah, he's, he's gonna race master car. I'm not really worried about it. I mean, uh, right. I think it maybe the car was just. A bit too on edge at the moment for him to still absolutely redline it, but I don't know, man. I think it's yeah. I thought he would iron it out, but uh, we'll see, man. This Ryan, obviously the strat, strat's bad. No, absolutely. Ryan was saying here, you know, quality strike was bad, sending Lando out at the end it's of the weird. It's hipster, man. Yeah, bare hipster strategy, man. In quality, <laughs> and if we do it every time, just chill out and just do what everybody else is doing. Yeah. No, Why, it's true. What are we doing? Uh, saving tires, using tires that we're not supposed to be doing. Just chill out, man. Yeah. We, 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 let's see. We, let's see. Let's see how they get on. Uh, Adam says Stella said that the top speed was just due to the rear wing of being uh, high downforce. So we, if we put on a low medium downforce wing in Jeddah, hopefully our top speed is a tiny bit more competitive. Uh, yeah, I just want to see it compar in comparison to others. Yeah. We probably are quick in a straight line. But I just want to see it in comparison. I'm worried. Yeah, no, exactly. I, um, need, to, I need to physically see that they've made a low downforce win or a medium downforce, low downforce. I need to see. You know, look, people are saying, you know, if we maximize quality, you're looking at fifth, maybe even fourth. Fifth in the race uh, or fourth in the, or quality. Yeah. I'll clarify that. Uh, <laughs> 
Acumen says, um, uh, hello lads, good points for Maka and LFC. Uh, yeah, it's not good for you, the LFC points. But, uh... so, yeah, so, yeah, listen, it's good. AFC, we AFC, we got our points. You know what I mean? We, we got our <laughs> points. You know what I mean? Goal difference and whatever. Uh, to be fair, I think it's very difficult uh, with our car to get it together. And Perez is, it was irritating in turn one, I guess. But it yeah. is so close. This can't. He said. He said it. Made, he said it made, it made a mistake in turn four or something mm. like that. Uh, from the interview, from what I remember as well. Yeah, but. I feel like that's maybe chasing. Sometimes when the car's in front of you, it's distracting. But at the end of the day, the Formula One drivers, you should be able to drive with traffic around. <laughs> and call it that. But that's just going to happen, especially in Q1. The guy who's saying, he says, regarding our, 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 you know, our reputation and everything else and, and, and our coverage in comparison, say, to the Aston Martin, we are still recovering from Spygate. No, we were, we were popular. 2010, 2011, 2012. We were out here. The coverage, the coverage over Red Bull. We were getting yeah. all the love. True, true, true. They were hating on Vettel on Red Bull, but we were getting all the love, and we didn't need we even deserve it. No, no. Um, everyone want, everyone also wants to be the first to say McLaren is going to underperform, and then when it looks like they're going to perform, they double down and criticize the team and to try and be right. Idiots. <laughs> you know no, that no, one's like Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm happy about that. Do you know why? Because I believe we'll get a podium in the next three races. And then what? <laughs> then, yeah. then what's the coverage going to be yeah yeah. you said these uh, McLaren's basically a no man's land so when oh. they pop up with a podium <laughs> uh, Dre I'll big up yourself says I think this year will help our reputation listen I think you know by the end of this season like I don't know between Mercedes or Ferrari but we're knocking someone's perch off by the end of this season I wanted to, low key I, I usually hate Ferrari but we've been mm. Ferrari before. Yeah. Mm. I want to beat Mercedes. <laughs> I hear that. Because <laughs> we've beat a Ferrari before. I like even recent, we've beaten Ferrari. I hear it. So I and we go toe to toe with Ferrari a lot. Yeah, but we don't really go toe to toe with Mercedes. I want to beat Mercedes. I hear That's it. That we beat our or we beat our supplier. Yeah, I mean <laughs> like honestly. I think by the end of it, I'm, I'm happy to say take Mercedes' spot. I, I must admit, I must admit. Uh, Reincarnation, what's going on? Says which is more of a clown show off track, Alpine or the Red Bulls? Oh, Red Bull for sure. The Do stuff you know I the stuff I know about this Red Bull situation, the stuff I know, I, I'm obviously I don't want to get sued or not. Shout out to Red Bull. Yeah, stuff I know that's not in the public domain about this Red Bull situation. Mm. That look like peak EastEnders. Is it peak EastEnders, yeah? Crazy teams. Okay. If it's EastEnder, then obviously it'll be them. Alpine, though, man, let me tell you. Like, there's more than meets the eye. You see, the thing is, yeah, on track, when, when things are bad on track, it's a hell of a lot worse off track. Like, I know Red Bull on track is good and, you know, we still get shenanigans. You know, we've had the Ferraris and the McLarens of this world where they've been good on track, there's shenanigans behind closed doors. When you're Bad off track. I'm um, sorry, on track, dude. I I dread to think what's going on in at Alpine. Like take take the Spa weekend for example last year alone. You just take yeah. you know we're there on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. Otmar's there doing his thing. Then it then the story leaks or comes out that he's leaving Alpine when we are at the race weekend. You know I know this is so minor compared to what's going on elsewhere. Don't get me wrong, it is. Yeah, 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 I dread to think what is what's the what is actually going on. Like, we need to know about this story about the Gaslies and Ocons of this world not wanting to be there anymore. We need to know about this. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. I'm I'm, I'm gonna send you a message on WhatsApp <laughs> about something about the oh, situation. Yeah, oh, you can give your live reaction. You don't need to re respond. Yeah. Uh, okay. But that's yeah. not in the public domain yet. Hmm. That's all I've got to say about that. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. It's, it's all long. It's so long. Listen, let's just. I just want to talk about track. Yeah, I just want to talk about McLaren. I want to talk about upgrades. Okay, so let's let's talk about. Yeah, let's let's, let's <laughs> upgrades are coming. We yeah. heard from I heard that in Ted's notebook. They're saying they don't want to introduce yeah. it in Shanghai because it's a sprint weekend. A sprint weekend in Shanghai is insane, by the way, guys. <laughs> what, what are they cooking? 
We've not been to Ain't been to the track in hat and donkeys. Ain't been with these cars. Yeah, let's do a sprint race. What are they thinking? Why? Why have they done this? Why have they done this? So we're we're looking at we're looking at Miami, Imola. I would prefer them to bring in Imola because I just know that we're cracked over there. We're cooking in Imola. (laughs) We take something over there. We're leaving with something. That's a conventional track. We're leaving with something. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 one of our tracks, isn't it? We are leaving with Sutton because even in the bad days, L- Lando just l- loves a podium over there. He just yeah, loved it. I, I think that's the possibility of the first win for Lando. So uh, let's just give it a go. It's, <sighs> it's there. What? Like if he goes yeah. on pole and then and then cracks on from there? If the car is upgraded to the level that the upgrades were doing last year mm. in Imola, he's going to do a madness. Do Both you, him and Oscar. You, gonna, that's that's gonna be, that might be the week. Whatever, whatever the weekend. If the upgrades come in Miami, we ain't doing nothing. Because it's Miami, we ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Even if the car is cooking, we ain't doing nothing. That car, that place is cursed. Yeah. <laughs> Just forget it. Okay. So, all right. How many race wins do you expect us to have this season? Me. You. And what I think. You specifically. It's Twenty-four race season. We'll leave with. Food. With how many? Three, three race wins. That's crazy, oh, right? Smokes. We're leaving with three. Man. We're leaving. We're leaving with four poles. Maybe four I'm crazy. Poles. The poles I can hear. I can hear the poles. Three race wins. You know that's not including Ferrari race wins or maybe a Mercedes race that win. Might, that, might, that might include a cheeky sprint win. Oh yeah, that counts. <laughs> so that, it counts. <laughs> you, know um, I mean? you know, talk to me. I mean. We, we we have big up yourself on the ch- in the chat right now. Obviously, Mando, I can't read Arabic, and it's so I don't even know what that is. Still, uh, I think two race wins is possible. Oscar and Lando each. Oh, Ooh. the Oracle spoken. I can see two Lando, one Oscar. So me and Oracle are aligned. We get three wins. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, who's saying? Mm, I can't forget who's saying. For- forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, free wins. Sheesh. Let me get some of that <laughs> opium. <laughs> and I've never liked this. I'm just doing it on the basis of this is 24 races. Max Stapp's engine got a blast, aren't he? Mm. He can't have two two whole seasons of uh, reliability. That's cap. The thing is, the cars That's are heavily. Re- cap. Something's going to happen. A bird's going to hit his car. Something's going to happen. <laughs> That's gonna, he's going to DNF. Someone's going to get too gassed up in P2 and crash into Donnie. If Red Bull's not in the race, we just need to be in that position. It's 24 races. <sighs> you mean... can't, no, you can't say that. It's two, two years. When have you ever heard of a car being reliable for two years straight? 48 the thing races. Is, Are you insane? My head, though. The thing 40 is, plus races. bro, we had no retirements. We had no yellow flag. <laughs> On Saturday, we had no. These cars are too reliable, man. No, no safety car, nothing. These cars you know are too mean? reliable. <laughs> Nothing. No, but we need a bumper upgrade. When I say, yeah, the upgrade if, needs to be... Hear what Stella said. Stella said the upgrades will be in the same gradient of progress mm. as last year. Andrea, if you... So don't don't do this to me. To me. Don't do this to me. <laughs> you know? Don't, like, if the if the upgrade is that saucy... Let's see. We need the new reg- regs to come. These cars are very reliable now. I mean, listen, the regs ain't for another two years. We gotta just let that let let twenty six be twenty six. You know the ones. I was like, yeah, I need I need no, I need that Mika Hakkinen prediction. That's what I need. I love Stella and I trust him. Believe me, I do. But when the when the two time champion, what, what, what did we what did we call him? We called him something last year. I forgot what he's called now. Uncle Uncle okay. Mika the Oracle. We, we call him Mika the Oracle. Do we call him the Oracle? <laughs> yeah, we call him the Oracle. Mess said, we need Mika to tell us how good the upgrade will be. Let me tell you, Henry, no doubt about that. No word of a lie. I need that Mika. I need that Mika. Um, Alex says, not a prediction, but I want um, I want Lando win, uh, Imola win, uh, Lando home win, and then Oscar to go going back to Qatar and doing one better. What about that Oscar home win, though? Hmm. What about it? Uh, it's too early. Twenty, brother. That's too early. Bro. <laughs> Let's back to snap and breaks down like Australia, Australia, twenty twenty two. That would be only. No, you're right. Listen, how can you be reliable again? Like, let's. Nah, man. Let there's no in F one history. There's no never been the case of that. But obviously, in general, cars are more reliable. But yeah. Question: 
What's, what's your drivers out of ten, man, for this for this race? Oh, for the race of the weekend. Uh, for the weekend. For the weekend. Because uh, yeah. it all counts. Land- Lando seven, Oscar six. Oscar six, yeah. Actually, like Oscar seven. Do you know why I'm giving Oscar seven? Because he sorted out the race pace a little bit. Maybe he sorted out the race pace and compromised his quality pace. But he wasn't too far behind Lando. He wasn't. I, I when he was behind Lando, I thought this guy's gonna drop. Lando's gonna drop eight seconds on his head. He didn't do it. <laughs> you know, like when there's a little gap in the stack, but he kept it, he maintained it two to three seconds, two three, before the bad pit stops and the bad strategy, he was maintaining it two seconds, three seconds. And I and mm. I, I'm happy with that in terms of race yeah. race. What I wasn't happy with was that Suzuka, where he's just three million years behind him. Yeah. Race pace wise. So it's 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 good in that sense. So yeah, I'm gonna give him a seven. Obviously, great race by Lando. Quali, we need to sort that. Yeah, let's. Did they, did everybody put their force? Yeah, let's get. Quali. Let's. By the way, yeah, everybody in the quality, comment yeah. section. Let's give give me your driver ratings. We'll and we'll get onto the constructor ratings as well, strategy and everything else like that. Okay, yeah. uh, so let us know in the comment section. Oh, sorry. Uh, Alex says seven for Lando, uh, six point yeah. five for Oscar. Yeah. I mean, how close are we expecting Oscar to be to Lando? How close? I want him within a tenth. Um, you want him within a tenth, and he was so in quali. Yeah, which is good. That that's a good start. No, but that that's due to Lando underperforming. Lando did actually. Did you see what like the time gap between Lando and Oscar in Q one and Q two? I was worried. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I said, nah, this is not good, man. Wait, you think? No, I think from what I'm seeing here. Q3 is worse. Actually, no, no, no. What am I talking about? No, no, no. You're reading the wrong way around. Man. I'm reading the wrong way around. No. Yeah, you're right. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm looking at Lando's Because you Q1 can see, and see Q1 and Q2. Yeah. We, and that's one That's one thing about Lando's quality as well, and I think we need to discuss that, is this guy is cracked in Q1, Q2. He's doing <laughs> madness. Like, why are you doing that in Q1, Q2? Do it in Q3. <laughs> Save it, brother. Save why are you doing it. a madness in Q1, Q2? Chill out. You don't need to go that hard. Just get through. Mm. Yeah, I mean, look, Lando having a stinker in Q3 and being ahead of Oscar is still docking, but hmm. Hmm, you mean in quality? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's a good point. Uh, that's why I, I gave him negative points for quality, but the race pace was good. Okay, so the, so awesome. the per- somebody asked a question earlier about should we, be, should we be worried about Lando's quality? When do, we, when do we start to have a conversation regarding Oscar and his I don't quality? think Oscar's had a bad quality. I don't think Oscar's got but that. that but if you're, you know, if I look at the, the, the times here, Q1 and 2, as you say. That's worrying. I mean, you know, yeah, four tenths in Q1, eight tenths in Q2. That's scary. Eight tenths in Q2 <laughs> is scary. <laughs> and, and Lando only did one run. You know, that, that, I'm just, uh, I like Oscar. I really do. And I always think like, you know, Oscar. Um, I, feel, I feel like, I feel like. Last year, towards the end, when the car was upgraded, he was doing better. He was he was doing really good. At yeah, he quality. was. He was to the point where he put serious pressure on uh, Lando. He he was he was. He's even it's not like oh we got a driver here that doesn't out qualify Lando. He does. He has out qualified. He's out qualified him before. He slapped it on pole. And then <sighs> you may say that oh he's only he's only doing this type of stuff because Lando's making mistakes, but he's on pace regardless. I feel like this session was the first time where I was like this guy's off pace. Okay, but then okay. he was on pace in the race, so it balances out because he's usually off pace in the race. Uh, just need to bring it all together. Yeah, no, bang on, no bang on. Yeah, you got me. You've got me. You, you guys have got me thinking about Oscar, um, because I've I've got this perception of Oscar where I just think he's a gangster and he's young and he's you know he was a rookie last year, but I think we have to now. Um, yeah, the, co- the thing with, with last year, everything had to be context heavy, wasn't it? Because you had the first part of the year, you had the middle part of the year, you had the end part of the year, and it was very like everything had the the the, the goalposts always changed depending on what we're talking about, which is it's hard to kind of digest what is yeah, Oscar, yeah. you know what I mean? Who is he? I, I think I think that's what we've got to find out this year is actually who is this guy? Hmm. Because we'll we we this is, about, no more rookie sacks anymore, isn't it? No, sure, sure. But we've heard about, you know, tire management. We've heard about um, race pace. We've heard about all of these things. Then he, he he won our only race last year. 
yeah. you know, in a good circuit, by the way, which you, you would not think we would win on that circuit, right? When I say good circuit, as in if somebody the wins that's far, favorable for us. Well, no, oh, if somebody Spa, wins like, far, Spa are using QQ what you slapped it on the front row straight away. Yeah. The thing is, is Spa, crazy. if you do good in Spa, you're a good <laughs> so you, you qualify good as a good racer. You know what I mean? You're a good racer that's to a me. long ass lap. <laughs> yeah. It shows the metal. TSJ says um, Lando 7, Oscar 6. Ryan says Os uh, Lando 8, Oscar 7. Yeah. Uh, Hussein says Oscar 7.5, Lando 7. Yeah, yeah we're, getting, we're getting a mixed bag here. 7.5 for Lando, 7 for Oscar. They both underperformed in quali. Oscar was nearly out. That's true. He nearly got knocked out. You too. If, you, if you're losing, if, you, if he'd lost to Hulkenberg... I'd have, I'd, have, I'd, have, I'd have been throwing arms. He's not out qualified my homework in Q2. Yeah, he did. I know. I know. <laughs> um, Z says, I don't think we should worry about Oscar. Uh, he'll get into the groove. My earlier comment was about Lando's stands, though. Uh, yeah, the, where everybody was talking about Lando's quality. Lando's quality, yeah. It was okay. It was you. It was yourself, yeah? Uh, no, no. We, I remember I asked him to put your thoughts on Lando's. Are you worried about Lando's quality? Because he can't put yeah. it together. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think overall. What, what are you are you worried about it? No, not not now, not at the second, not at the second. But, we're um, looking at. Remember, we spoke about it last year. He bottled some balls. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did, he did, he did. We um, no, we can't deny. Uh, I'm gonna go with seven for Lando. Yeah, and I'm gonna go. I think I'll go six and a half for Oscar. Yeah, above average wasn't spectacular, but the boys got twelve points to the uh, on Saturday. Like, yeah, can't move. They got a strong double points finish. What do we think? <laughs> the strategy, uh, guys, in the comment section, please let us know about the team strategy and smash a like on this video as you're thinking Amp about it. We do a strategy and pit stops. Give us, give us. They're safe separate. Yeah. Let's do, yeah, I've got them. Oh, are they now. separated already? Yeah, already They're separated. separated. Yeah. Okay. So we're talking. We're talking strategy first. The strategy, people. What's up? What is up? What are you giving? Um, six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah. Because it was more so about, you know, earlier pit stop for Oscar. Uh, Lando was kind of sort of here, there, and nowhere all at the same time. Um you know, could Lando have gone above Russell? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Because Russell had a good quality, and I thought, oh, hello, Mercedes are... A, are Russell a had issues, in it? Engine issues. But he had issues, yeah, exactly. So then he's had issues, so then surely we capitalise if you've got an issue. But it's a track position type of track. That's this is the problem with the, the whole qualifying performance, because you tend to keep your position. Mm. It might be, yes, it's easy to overtake, but people are just yeah. managing your tyres, they're struggling, so... It is a track, track position track, and most likely guaranteed if Lando qualifies in the front two rows, he's in a higher position at the end of the race. Yep, Lando said the same thing about about there is it's possible to overtake, but it's a track position type. Of so track. that's why the strategy needed to be the case of oh, let's point. let's pick these guys early. Yeah, instead yeah. of leaving out, leaving them out there like we got done by Merck. <sighs> Hamilton Hamilton shouldn't have been ahead of Oscar. The strategy wasn't good. The strategy wasn't good in. Uh, in the in the in the quality, the strategy wasn't Ooh. really good in the race. So, for me, I'm gonna give it a six. They got Hussein, who says, you know, five and a half out of ten, fair play. Z says six for strategy, even a six for the pit crew. Hmm. Uh, Hussein says Oscar will be cooking. Uh, they timed that so. pit stop so badly. Listen, uh, no, I no, Mahad, we know so. Oscar's gonna yeah. cook this year. We know it. We know it. We know what we've got in our hands. The best thing since Lewis Hamilton in his rookie year. We know what we've got in our hands. Or let me say since Verstappen, because Verstappen was, a, was an animal at 16, yeah. 17, whatever years of age it was. Yeah. What was your, what, yeah, what, what, sorry, what was your what was your rating for strategy? I was say six. What about you? Yeah, six. Yeah. Six will do. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we still got double points. <laughs> Hello. You know what I mean? We finished in the top eight. Lando was in the top six, you know? Yeah, not Pit too crew, bad. Stinkers, Pit crew. man. Stinkers, by their standards. Not stand that Bottas stinker, not that Bottas stinker. It weren't Bottas. <laughs> no. But it wasn't to the standards that we're used to. 
Like we had one pit stop that was two point three that was really good for Lando, but mm. then the rest were in the threes. And one of used to, I'm not, I'm not accustomed to see a three. One thing I noticed on the on the coverage, they don't show the pit stop time no more. What's that about? I noticed that, except for Red Bull's one. Max, why didn't they show anybody's pit stop times? I was like, what the hell? Is you know what? They, barely you know what? It. they had a stinker. The graphics guys had a stinker because who's who's uh, what tire did somebody come out on and they they try they try throw it? It was hards and these. Oh, times Leclerc, 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 and they tried to say it was mediums. And he was Brund- Brund- Brundle rinsed them early doors. Brundle was rinsing them even from was it practice? Oh, because they, they don't show the the tire uh, life. How many laps yes. done? Da, da, da. The yeah. graphics are nasty. They had a white McLaren sign. It's a little pile one. What, what was your thoughts? I saw I saw the yeah. tweets. I was, I was like, it's "What are your easy, thoughts?" <laughs> I'm tired, man. Whoever's, yeah. it, whoever's in that pseudo swear. Listen, man, I know some good people that do graphics for, for certain companies, man. We need to get them in board, bruv, because this is a... It was a bit of a howl, I can't lie. I don't know what's um, going on. The, the timing sheet's not good, like, on the <laughs> on the left in the race. Like, it's not no. informative. No, it's not at all. Yeah, because there was a part of the race I zoned out, I swear to you. I'm watching the race. I didn't know what was going on. on. I'm zoning, because I'm like, okay, what's legit here? Like, is, is this legit right now? And I think Alonso hadn't even stopped yet. And I was like, wait, what? He hasn't stopped. Okay, fine. All right, let me recalibrate when, when everyone's back. Um, smash a like, people, on this video. 35 of you are watching right now. Please do us a favor and smash a like, please. And subscribe to the channel. If you are a McLaren fan, or you like McLaren stuff, or you like Formula One, whatever. Whatever the weather. The Oracle says pit stop lads weren't on it this race. One pit stop in, in the top 22. Hmm. Wow. Uh, I think they were both very good in uh, good in the race. They couldn't have done much more. I think I, I'm guessing you're referring to the drivers. Yeah. yeah. Um, the second fastest pit from us was that day was was 2.94. Yeah, that's not good, man. Pa- 2.9 last season in the last season was a slow stop. It was a that's horrible nasty. stop. Can't it was do a that. Horrible stop. Uh, even but the clock. I, I have faith after... in the boys to get back on it, man. They weren't quick in Bahrain last year, any pit stop. No, was, they weren't. We did blow uh, ten of them. He's saying, saying like even Leclerc at Alpha was was a good two was good rookie season, yeah. But Oscars was better. Still race winning that. Get get a winner, yeah. Get get, get a dub before we go, bro. Get a dub before get a we go. In the rookie season, before get, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know he's in a salva. I know. Um, Dre says strategy and pit stops wasn't great. Only uh, one good pit stop, and our timing was bad. We should have pulled uh pulled the undercuts. Yeah, five yeah, out of ten. Nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 1.2 pit stop to 1.2 pit stop to win us Imola. I see the vision. Yeah, I think that's, that's Android. <laughs> <laughs> that's an AI change, boy. Um, Mahad, your predictions for Saudi. Whilst um, we are here, what are your what are we thinking, people? In the comment section, let's talk about qualifying very quickly. Quali- 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 what are we saying? And then the race. Yeah. Give us give us your predictions. Quali, um, uh, second row. Oscar Piastri. Woo! I think Oscar, I think Oscar outqualifies yes. Lando in this race. Oh yeah, so my I'm lord! I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, P3 for Oscar, P5 for Lando, Holy and then I think in the race I'm gonna go for P4 Lando and P5 Oscar. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this part of? Is is? Are you influenced by the? The machine that was Oscar Piastri in 2021 in F2. He was unreal. <laughs> Anybody that watched that, he was he absolutely fried everybody in F2. He won the feature race. He won the sprint race. He slapped it on pole. He cooked everybody in general. Then the next year, no, not the next year, the year after that when he got into Formula 1, uh, the guy qualified P8 with a car that was significantly the slowest car in the streets. Yeah. How did you even get into Q3? How did you get into Q3? Like, Oscar you can't likes really... it. Oscar and likes do you know what? When you look at the graphics, whatever the data, he made up all the time in the, in the corners. In his corner. mm. So, let's, uh, he might be cracked around there. This might be his version of Imola, what Lando's. Lando loves Imola. Lando loves Austria. This could be Oscar's track. Je- he loves Jedi. You get me? Oh, I tell you what, you've got me thinking, man. You've got me thinking. P4, P5, Norris, Oscar. Uh, to Quali there, so Quali, wow, double, double, you know, top, you know, uh, top five, both drivers yeah. in the race, P3, P4. Well, I think we're going to be better than either Ferrari or Mercedes. I just don't know which one yet, but we'll be better than one of those two teams. Surely it's Mercedes. 
Oh, no, I can't speak on it. Ferrari have got the pace. I, I ain't speaking on it. I, I, Last know, year, because... Ferrari in the straight line was insane. <laughs> and then, what's it? Let me not speak on it. <laughs> and then, what's it called, my man? Carlos Sainz is driving like he's got a point to prove, man. Look, he dunked on the clock twice. The guy was dunking on guys. Whoever he saw fit, he said, I'm, it's, it's me. Get out of my way. Get Sa- my free you know what Sainz said? Sainz said, is this your king? <laughs> this is this your king? king. <laughs> so I think that's going to happen quite a lot this season. Oh, I can't. I'm, you know, I'm even here. Even though it. Leclerc's a better driver, I think just signs is he's going to do some things. Mate. I am here for it. I'm here for it. Um, Hussein says, "Quali Oscar P4, Lando P6 in the race. Oscar P5, Lando P5. Okay, how, how, <laughs> how's that possible? Hussein, Hussein, what's going on, brother?" Steph Lowe, P3, Oscar, P5, Lando, P5, P6, uh, P3, P4 for the boys. Yep. Same again for the race. Under what? Under promise, over deliver. We like that. P6 for Lando. So people are, are people are with you, you know. They, 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 you, hey, you, I'm you telling you now, Oscar's cracked around it. Oscar would have done a great result if he didn't get the, the damage last year. Man. Oi, let me tell you something right now. If I see Oscar deliver, yeah, I don't think you understand, man. I don't think I'll you understand. I will be there. I will be there. I, 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 I want <laughs> to see a, a good performance both of them. I just want us to look good on our high speed track. What did you? Track. Yeah. I, I, all I want to see is that speed. I'm looking at them speed track numbers, man. That's all I care about. That's what we care about. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. I'm that's, an go indication. With that's an indication for Monza. You get me. True, yeah, yeah, true. I'm um, you, you spun me. I'm gonna go Oscar P3 in quali. He's gonna separate the Red Bulls there. I think, I think Leclerc, I think Leclerc will get P2 or maybe on pole, yeah, right, with Verstappen, them two top two. And I think we will slide in there with an Oscar Piastri and then, and then I think Perez. Perez, Perez or whoever might be fourth. Um, and then Lando, what P5 or P6? Lando P6. Okay. Lando P6. In the race, Oscar gets that podium, rude boy. Whoa! Oscar, Oscar for the this podium. This is crazy. Are you done? This is crazy. You know why? Because oh, I'm, I'm, I'm banking on this, right? That, that Ferrari packs in. Because them revs, they're going to be on like eight gears, yeah? Gear eight, revving. They're going to pack that. They're going to fry we, their we, car. We've got, the long, we got the longest gears. Let's see what happens. They, they're I'm gonna right fry the their car, man. They're gonna fry it, yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the only thing is, I think Mercedes has a good race car. Might do. Uh, I want to see Oscar an Oscar podium, but I don't know. Ferrari look good. I think Ferrari are gonna tap out, man. You know, like do you remember when Alonso was in that Alpine and it was a rocket launcher, but it just it always went on fire. It always got on fire. <laughs> I'm even got flashbacks. If that's, if that's the if that's the Mercedes or the Ferrari, that's hilarious. It's the Ferrari, bro. It's the Ferrari, man. Ferrari, I've seen Carlos Sainz now in Austria when he was up the hill and the car was bombed. Literally. I'm seeing it now, people. Uh, Alex, seeing, I, do you know what? I'm seeing too much Fred Brazil love, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, Way I'm, too I'm, much. I'm, I'm his enemy, you know. I can't lie to Way you. Too Way too much. Way too much. What was he doing? This, what, what was he doing in Salva? Don't be telling me about ART. <laughs> Tell me what he did in Salva. What was he doing after Romeo Salva? What was he doing? <laughs> For him to be getting top three principal shots. Tell me what's going on. For him to go do a season that's worse than uh, Bonotto. And then all of a sudden, could he say Lewis Hamilton? Yeah, he, he, he's done jobs. He's the man. <laughs> he's, he's got one race win under his belt. <laughs> the team principal. What are we doing, man? I, I love this, bro. I love it. I love so it. I'm, I've, I'm up with Sir Watch. Mm. Mm, I think you, yeah, you should be. You're, you're hyping somebody that was doesn't need to be hyped. People are asking why did he even get a job. Mm. Mm. This kid, uh, this kid here. Wait, boom, Bortoletto. boom, McLaren Junior F2 driver. Boom, boom, boom. Might be the one. You might. Be I had a sneak. We, we might have an issue. We might have an issue. <laughs> we might. We've got, have a place. We've got a place for this guy. We don't own two teams. We only got I one team. Can't lie, I, dab- I dabbled, didn't it? I dabbled in a bit of this F2, yeah. And I said, Yo, what Guan? Who's this Don? Huh? Brazilian. F3, F3 champion. Oh, you might have found another one. You might have found another one. You might have found another one. What um, Paul? Lovely. Yeah. People remember Quali is on Friday again. This time eight o'clock, though. I could take that. 8 p.m. I could take that. 
And uh, the race as well is, I think, 8 o'clock as well on Saturday night. Uh, so make sure you guys check it out. And then we'll be back the following week, people. Uh, we have to double check on the day because... We're, we're, we're going to have to double check on the day and location. I think, I think, I think Sunday is good. But, so, um, hey, it might be an early one, guys. It might be a Just Sunday. double check because it's Mother's Day. So for y'all, I don't want you yeah, guys to get yeah. in trouble. Yeah, it's Mother's Day. It's going to be a it's gonna be Sunday evening. It's going to be what? Sunday. It's not going to be a daytime thing. It'll be a Sunday evening. Yeah, we're gonna do. yeah. If not, yes. maybe Monday. All right, people, we'll catch you next week when we've been talking about the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. We got to, off to a good start, double points finish. We're P4 yep. and the constructors, exactly like we left last year. Mahad, anything before we go? Um, we are winning the race in the first half of the season, guys. Peace. <sighs> Peace. <laughs>